Welcome back to another torture view. I have the new S2R Baton version 2 in for testing, sent in via Bantac for review. So running through some of the features, you'll notice that we have five power levels on this model. We've also got slightly higher power rating than the previous one. So taking this out of the packaging, you'll notice Olight's more recent packaging is a bit more eco-friendly and easier to get to. So you just pull off this yellow a card on the back and you've got everything's included in the molding inside and that includes the drawstring bag that you have so you can keep all the parts in there you also get the uh, Olight wrist strap and you get another double clip this one is black on the torch there is a blue one and Bantac bundle a 18650 case for you as well this is the newer style of magnetic charger that you get. I already showed you this on the smaller version of this torch. And looking at the size, which is on the screen for you, it's very small for an 18650 torch and very similar in terms of design to the S1R2, which I looked at recently. So they've got virtually identical design on this, apart from obviously the fact it's a bit longer. You do have a little latch there on the top and bottom for the wrist strap. And there's your magnetic charging very strong magnet on that and I'll do a little test later on. They're using a different LED on this, a luminous SST40 and at the minute it's just cool white. You have that optical lens on the front. Now to open this up you unscrew the body. Sometimes it's easier to lift up the clip because of that sort of pineapple effect on the knurling on the body. There's your spring at the top. The threads are already greased up on this and just pop the battery out. This is a custom cell very much like the other Olight torches because the contacts both at the same uh, positive end so that you can use that magnetic charging and the battery I'll be doing a little test on that later on inside the torch you'll see you've got two spring contacts so you will need to use a button top cells for this torch for example the night coil that I'm putting in here you can use that you just can't charge any other cell other than the custom Olight battery that you get supplied with it has to be said, I'm not a huge fan of custom batteries, but that's perhaps my own personal opinion. Onto the battery level indicator, that comes on for about 10 seconds when you turn the torch on, and it's a three level indicator on that. The double clip on this version uh, doesn't have quite as much tension as I would like. It's perfectly fine, but I would have thought perhaps a slightly deeper clip, maybe about a centimeter or so, would have helped, particularly if you're going to reverse this because it's a longer torch than the smaller S1R. As far as the charging rate goes, it's the same as the previous one, just under the 0.9 of an amp charging. The LED indicator is again on the underside, uh, red when charging, green when finished. It's perhaps a little bit harder to see, and a size comparison next to the S1R2. As you can see, very similar design between the two of them. Even the clip is basically identical in terms of size, although the diameter is a bit more on the S2R. Though that doesn't make any difference when you're using the magnetic charger because the dimensions on that are exactly the same. Quick comparison with the Nightcore EC30. Did a review on this or a video and I quite like it. Non-rechargeable, there's no way of charging in the torch. And it is a bit longer but they've gone for a slightly different design on the reflector. Instead of that optical lens we have a traditional smooth reflector so you will get a bit more range out of the Nightcore. As far as the overall building design goes, I do quite like the pineapple effect on the body. There's plenty of grip there. Perhaps that clip is the only area which possibly bothers me slightly. Onto the user interface, single press on and off, and it has a memory for all the levels except the turbo and strobe. Push and hold to cycle the three main power levels. Then to get to your instant turbo, and this is on or off, you can double press the side switch and then if you double press again it takes you back to the previous mode with a triple for the strobe long push and hold to get to the moonlight mode and then for the lockout just push it in and hold it a longer time and you'll see the red LED come up to show you that it's in the lockout so simple enough user interface even if you haven't used an Olight torch before it doesn't take too long to pick it up you also have this auto off timer which I'll show you on screen I don't use that much myself, but it might be useful if you have a habit possibly of leaving torches on. 
as far as the magnetic strength on this it did very well on the fridge so that's smooth and some torches slide around but this one stayed put so you won't have any complaints on that and likewise water resistance no problems at all during use capacity of the battery is a little bit lower than I expected 3064 on a discharge test although it's not massively off the quoted figure in case you're wondering you can use the older magnetic charger with this you'll see the indicators on the stem rather than the underside and you can power the torch whilst you are charging obviously that will mean that it won't charge as quickly but it is an option if you run out of power plus you do get some current coming through the contact points but if you short them nothing bad happens at all so there's no safety issues or concerns with this wanted to do a quick look at the tint on this because it is rated higher than some torches at seven and a half thousand kelvins but to be honest with these three torches there's not much of a difference between them you do get some tint shifts on these models that's quite common and that's a quick look at your user guide just to run you through the user interface in case you wanted to refer to that onto the beam shots now just looking at the high level at 400 lumens then I'll take it right up to the top turbo at 1150 you notice that TIR optical lens gives you a big diffused hotspot and spreads the light out quite a bit compared to the S1R that's actually quoted to have slightly more range it seems to be a little bit more concentrated and the touch less spread and the night core is a more powerful torch and you can see with the smooth reflector it's pushing more light into the middle hence the reason it has more range i'll run through a few more beam shots now and i'll come back with my usual conclusion and summary at the end of the video Just to share a few thoughts with you on the S2R Baton version 2. Overall I quite like this torch, I think they've got it mostly right, but there are a few niggles that I have. The first of those would be with the custom Olight battery, you have to use that to charge it in torch. You do get one supplied so it's not a major problem, but come later on when you need to replace it, you'll have to hunt out the Olight torch batteries to use it for the charging and I would prefer if you could just use a normal 18650 in a torch and charge any of them. Another niggle for me would be the double clip. It's decent enough but I'd prefer slightly longer in length about a centimetre because the torch is longer than the S1R version 2. I think they'd also benefit from a bit more tension. On the upside very compact torch 10 centimetres in length they got the mode spacing right with that important 3 to 400 lumen power level which I would use quite frequently. 
strong magnetic base so overall it's a good EDC torch I would like to see a neutral white version brought out because I know that some people do like the warmer tint although I find the tint okay on this particular one do stick around for my next few videos coming up I will be doing more torches in the future and be sure to let me know what you think on this one